this video is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. When I moved to Cancun, Mexico in 2003 from the Caribbean, I had to adapt to the different lifestyles here. 18 years later, having lived all over Mexico, I have compiled a list of don'ts and the most important travel mistakes you can make while visiting this amazing country. From important safety tips and advice for dealing with all kinds of situations, this video has everything you need to know before traveling to Mexico. Without further ado, here are the top 10 don'ts travel mistakes to avoid in Mexico. Rule number one, do not get into a controversial conversation with the locals or people you just met about religion, politics, football, or corruption. Don't be that ignorant tourist wandering around praising your own country, speaking your home language. Don't assume everyone speaks English. You'll likely have communication issues, but instead of getting mad and frustrated, embrace it as part of the experience. Do learn some basic Spanish. You don't need to be a fluent Spanish speaker to travel in Mexico, but knowing a few phrases will go a long way while you move through Mexico, and also it will help you negotiate for things you buy. Number two, like in every country, crime is present, but you can avoid it to become a victim if you are using some common sense. You won't become a target for thieves. Don't be a show off. Don't walk around with expensive jewelry, expensive watches, camera gear, or your expensive handbag. Keep all of your valuables at home or in the safe of the hotel. Try to blend in with the locals. Dress casual, nothing flashy. The red carpet and Oscars are in the USA, not here. This advice should be a no-brainer. This advice applies to every country in the world. Number three. Mexicans are very proud people. Don't criticize Mexican food or anything they are proud of, or their traditions, or you will get yourself into unwanted trouble, which can end up very bad for you. Each of the country's regions uses unique fresh ingredients and unique cooking techniques that define the diversity of their regional dishes. So, please avoid generalizing about a source of national pride while you are in Mexico. Be respectful and try to blend in with the locals. Number four. Don't walk around by yourself exploring the neighborhood at night, especially if you are a woman. Only go out with friends who speak the language, know the area, and where they're going, and can protect you and respond to any issue arising with locals or authorities. Stay close to the tourist zones where most tourists enjoy the Mexican party lifestyle. Also, don't go to the beaches at night. Most close at 6 p.m. anyway, and it can become dangerous. Number five, public transport and taxis. Let's start with the taxis. Stay away from the ones that are not properly licensed. Many pirate taxis in Mexico. That means no insurance, drivers unqualified, and maybe it will be your last ride. I avoid taxis altogether, but if you have to use them, get one from a taxi central where you can call up and order a cab or from outside of the hotels. They are called taxis de sitio. They're more expensive, but are secure and licensed and safer to use. Now about public transportation. My advice, stay away. Pay a few pesos more and get a cab, an Uber, Diddy, or any other private transportation platform. Many are present in Mexico. Always negotiate your fare before getting into the cab and never get into a cab where a passenger is already inside sitting and the driver wants you to get in. Number six, if you have a car or rent, one, don't drive without Mexican auto insurance. Mexico's driving laws are based on a guilty until proven innocent mentality. If you can't pay for damages you cause to others as a result of an accident to their vehicles on the spot right there, you will most likely go to jail until you can pay the bill. U.S. auto insurance is not accepted in Mexico, so be sure you are covered just in case. Also, do not drive at night in the mountains. Extra caution is required. Roads can be very dangerous, but you also might run into some corrupt or unethical police who can extort you for a few hundred dollars or even worse, get robbed by criminals who pick their victims at night on the lonely streets. When Ora Pico rush hour comes around, the streets and highways of the major cities in Mexico come to a standstill during the peak hours of 7 to 10 a.m. and 5 to 9 p.m. Number seven, don't try to feed or pet or touch wildlife in Mexico. Mexico is among the world's most biodiverse nations. 15% of Mexico's plants and animal wildlife is found nowhere else on Earth. Here you find crocodiles, pumas, jaguars, snakes. Some animals seem really friendly with humans, but they are not afraid about biting the hand that wants to pet them or feed them. So do yourself a favor and keep your distance from wildlife on land or below the sea and its stunning marine life. Number eight, if you stay outside of the tourist hotel areas in some normal local rural city or town, don't flush your toilet paper down the toilet. It's weird, I know, but trust me, you don't want to be the tourist or gringo who messes up the whole building's plumbing and nobody has water anymore 
use the towel bin instead or you're going to have some issues explaining in Spanish to the locals how you are going to bring the water back. Or have an emergency plumber on your phone ready to rescue you from the furious crowd demanding water. Number nine, Montezuma's Revenge, diarrhea sickness. It's very real, so please don't drink the water from the tap. Only drink water in upscale hotels or restaurants, in tourist areas that use purified water filtration systems. Other than that, stick to bottled H2O. Bottled water is cheap and everywhere. Make sure the bottle you buy is sealed and not just refilled from the tap. Brush your teeth with bottled water, too. Play it safe with everything you consume first. Wash it with bottled water as well. Number 10. Don't fall for the timeshare presentation scams. In many Mexican resort areas like Cancun, Los Cabos, Mazatlan, you'll be approached by a marketing person called OPC, who offers you to attend a no-obligation timeshare presentation, no purchase required, perhaps with some bonus enticements like free tours or restaurant vouchers to sweeten the deal. Maybe your favorite excursion is offered to you at a 50% discount. You think, why not? What's 90 minutes of my time to get some easy freebies? Well, do you really want to spend your precious vacation time in a sales room with high-pressure closers who try to sell you something overpriced instead of the beach? Some of these deals are scams, full of lies, misrepresentations, and deceitful sales pitches that sound so good to be true, especially the investment pitch. It goes like this. They offer you to rent out some timeshare monthly and will pay off by itself in less than a year if you sign up today. Don't fall for it or you can kiss your money goodbye. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which travel mistake have you done before in any other country from the list above? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.